Well, potential changes now coming to the death penalty in Florida. Two new bills being proposed would change the requirements for jury recommendations for the death penalty. CBS 12's Amber Robb joins us live tonight with a breakdown of the bills. Amber? The two bills filed this week, one in the House and one in the Senate, are exactly the same. They take away the requirements for all jurors to be in agreement with the death penalty. So if it passes, courts just like the Palm Beach County Circuit Court will not need all jurors to be unanimous in their decision in order to sentence someone to death. Calls for change to Florida's death penalty rising across the state after Nicholas Cruz was sentenced to life without parole. We the jury unanimously find that the aggravating factors that were proven beyond a reasonable doubt outweigh the mitigating circumstances established. No. A sentence doled out because three of the 12 jurors voted to spare his life. In the only gubernatorial debate hosted by CBS 12 News, Governor Ron DeSantis said the death penalty was the only punishment that fit the gravity of the crime in the Nicholas Cruz trial. I'm going to ask the Florida legislature to amend that statute so that one juror doesn't have veto power over appropriate punishment. Two bills filed in both chambers this week look to change the need for a unanimous agreement in death penalty cases. Instead, eight of the 12 jurors would be required to be on the same page. Ryan Petty lost his daughter Elena in the Parkland school shooting in 2018. He says this is long overdue. But I think if you can get a supermajority of uh, jurors to agree on what the penalty should be, then I think we have, uh, we're honoring our criminal justice system and we're we're respecting the families who have lost loved ones, and we're, we're dealing with these criminals in the way that they should be dealt with. However, on the other side, State Senator Bobby Powell says when you're dealing with life or death, it should be unanimous. Many of us may believe that what happened in Parkland with the case of Nicholas Cruz, that may make a lot of people feel like the death penalty uh, should be able to happen based on a simple majority. That's one situation. You have to comprehensively look at the whole in order to determine when somebody's life should end. Currently, Florida law requires a unanimous decision to sentence someone to death. Senator Powell was a part of the team of lawmakers who in 2017 passed a bill almost unanimously that decided all jurors had to be in agreement in death penalty cases. These bills will be assigned to committee as they move on. Reporting live in West Palm Beach, I'm Amber Rob, CBS 12 News.